Hey everybody, so aired a new episode today and had some questions about some of the products that uh, you saw in that episode. Hope you caught it. It was Fishing for Salmon off the Washington coast with John Kaiser and Uncle Jerry Henderson. So we had a, a really good time out there and John, John is a very good fisherman. You know, he does things to catch fish and that's why he does them. He's kind of one of those kind of guys, just real basic, just, just put the stuff out there that works and, and catch some fish. So what we were doing out there was just really simply trolling for coho and chinook. And he was using fish flash, you know, bait or spin fish behind a, a fish flash, and just your basic Yakima fish flash. But what he was adding to it, as you see in the show, are these Pro Troll Strike Light lights. Now, lights can be fantastic attractors. I don't know how many people that get in here to the shop wanting those Brad's Wigglers, remember the Wigglers that would light up, you know, a little light in them. And they're just not available anymore. So you don't need to come in and ask me for those. I can't get them. I wish I could, uh, but they're just not available. But lights do attract fish. And these are a type of light from uh, Pro Troll that you saw in the episode. And I'll show you, there's two different models here. These are the strike light light. This is, uh, this one you stick on. It's got this, you know, that you pull off like, like Velcro. So I'm not gonna pull that off, but you pull that off and you can stick it right on any flat surface. And John was putting them right in the middle of his fish flash. And they, what you wanna do though, is make sure that you maybe get a little alcohol or just make sure that your fish flash or whatever surface you're putting them on is very clean. So a little alcohol is a good way to go. So clean that up good, stick that baby on there. And then they are push button operated. They're not water activated. So we're gonna push the button and you have a fast blank, push it again, a slow blank, push it again and steady on. And you can see how bright that is. It's a very bright light. So then they last about 200 hours. So you pull them out of the water, you turn them off and you're gonna use them for a long time. So up to 200 hours. Now there's another version. This is, they call the inline. It were, it's the same exact thing. The same way, steady or slow and then steady and off. But you can run your line through this plastic sheath that it's in. It's got the two holes here, just run your line through there. And you can rig that lots of different ways. I know these are popular for ice fishing, straight up and down. Uh, you could put them anywhere when you're when you're trolling. There's just a lot of applications for this where you would want to add a light to your to your presentation. You know where I kind of want to try this is uh, for lingcod, jigging for lingcod, slide it down on top of the, the bait. I would use those the fish field lights quite a bit for halibut. And I found in doing that, you know, I'm fishing for some lingcod too, that the lingcod really do like lights. So this would be a good one. Um, now the, the stick-on version, of course they can go on the fish flash. You can put them on any kind of paddle flash or any kind of a dodger for uh, trout fishing or salmon fishing or anything, kokanee, whatever. It's just kind of a cool little thing to add to your baits. Now John was also in that episode using bright green anchovies. And this is how he was getting those bright green anchovies, just getting some of this Procure Brine and Bite Complete, and basically just soaking your anchovies in this stuff, and it turns them up nice bright green, tightens up the scales, does a really good job. They've also got the bright blue, which some people really believe in. I know uh, whether you're going to use green or blue, it, 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 you just kind of maybe experiment. But most of the time though, it seems like the green is the go-to, but not always. Sometimes this blue really works well. And if you don't want to do any color, you just got the Brandon Bite complete with just the natural shine. This will make them really shine bright. It's good stuff. So I hope you enjoy the episode and please be sure to subscribe. We've got some new episodes coming soon. I mean, well, every two weeks we're going to have new episodes. And in the, if you're in the Portland, Seattle area, it's on the CW now, so just look that up. That's basically channel 11 in the Seattle area on satellite and everywhere. So it doesn't matter how you get your TV, whether it's cable, over the air, satellite, everybody gets the CW. And then down California, it's the same channel, NBC Sports California, it's exchanged. It's all good. So have a great week and hope you're catching some fish.